My name is Ryan Hardigan from Econ Technologies, the makers of ChronoSync and ChronoAgent. This is the third and final part of a three-part series in configuring a sync with a ChronoAgent target. This final screencast will deal with creating a sync document to sync to the ChronoAgent Mac. I'm going to begin by launching ChronoSync, which will open a blank sync document. In the left target pane, click Choose to select a folder on the local ChronoSync Mac. To make sure file ownership settings get updated correctly when syncing with an agent connection, make sure admin access is enabled for the local target in the Connect2 pop-up. Now it's time to select the Chrono Agent target in the right target pane. Click the Connect2 pop-up and select the connection profile created earlier. Now I'm going to click the Choose button and select a folder on my Chrono Agent Mac. When the file selector sheet appears, it shows the root level of the selected hard drive. And if you're looking for your home folder, it should be located inside the user's folder. Save the sync document by going to File, Save. Before I run the actual sync, I'm going to run a trial sync by clicking the Trial Sync button in the toolbar of the saved sync document. ChronoSync will begin analyzing and comparing the two directories, and soon a sheet will appear showing the files to be synced with status arrows. If everything looks good, click Synchronize and wait for the Synchronize Complete pop-up to appear with the results of the sync. The final result is that I've synced a folder from my ChronoSync Mac to my ChronoAgent Mac using ChronoSync. If you have any questions about this screencast, ChronoSync, or ChronoAgent, just visit our website at econtechnologies.com and submit a question through our product support page.